Hey guys. So I bought a new concealer and I am blown away. It's the best concealer I've ever used. I've been using it for probably about a week now and it's just amazing. I have no makeup on right now. All I've done is use my Beauty Treats lip scrub almond cream and then I wipe that off and put on a lip balm which right now is Wet n Wild Pout and Kiss in Kiss. This is the only lip balm that I have right now. I finished all my others. Um, there's a couple that I want to try, but I need to find them. So that's all I have right now on. So what I'm going to do is um, start doing my makeup and talk to you about something else before we get to the concealer. Um, let's start with the LA Colors Face Primer. That's what I'm going to put on first. So yeah, I bought a new concealer and am blown away, but I've been using another product too for that same area, like the dark circles. And um, I think it's actually been making a small difference. You know those rollerball things that they have that you roll underneath your eyes? It's a uh, dark circle treatment. Well, I tried one of those many years ago and um, Garnier had come out with them and they had more than one they had like two or three different formulas well I picked out one of those and tried it many many years ago and I felt as if it made my dark circles worse and they never got better after that like the indentations of my face got like deeper and then I was scared to death of those things after that so never really gave it another thought, but now here we go, flash forward, years go by, and I saw this at the store, and I was like, you know what, I don't think it could get much worse than it is right now, so I'm going to try it. So I bought this. This is by Skin Nutrition's, and it's called Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. And I've been using this for about a week, the same amount of time as the concealer. And I feel like I'm seeing a difference um, in the depth and darkness of the circles. And then the area around it seems um, a little bit more even. Because I never really felt as if I got puffiness before, but I think I was having a little bit of puffiness around the dark circle area. Now this side has never been as bad as this side over here. But if you watch my videos on a regular basis, maybe you can tell a slight difference in the improvement. Uh, if you go back and watch any of my Get Ready With Me videos where I start from scratch with no makeup on, you will be able to see a difference. So I've been using this for about a week and I got this, believe it or not, at Dollar Tree. So I only paid a dollar for it and it actually does something as opposed to the Garnier one that I tried years ago. Like I said, it actually made my dark circles worse. But this seems to be a slight improvement, so really been enjoying that. Now, you've probably noticed all this going on my neck here, so let's address that. I think it was my Harry Potter necklace. It was silver plated brass. I have a terrible problem with metals and my skin. Um, I used to have pierced ears and I tried for years to wear all different kinds of earrings and always ended up with like getting infections and stuff and yeah cheap metals and I just don't get along and I could have gone out and bought like a super expensive pair of earrings, but then I would have had to wear the same pair every day and I get bored with things, so that wouldn't work for me. I wanted to be able to wear fun, inexpensive jewelry and switch it up every single day and I just couldn't. So anyways, um, I started seeing red blotches down here one day and I thought, oh no, you know, it's got to be my Harry Potter necklace. What else could it be? And so I stopped wearing the necklace and I've been covering this all up with makeup. 
So you, you can still see it a little bit once my makeup is done, but um, yeah, it's it doesn't seem to be getting any better. So I don't know how long it takes for like your skin to calm down when you have a bad reaction to base metals like that. If any of you are in the medical profession, um, maybe you know. I looked up online and they said to use a cortisone cream, which I don't really like to use steroids. Um, they, they kind of freak me out. So I'm just waiting for it to sort of calm down on its own and hopefully it will go away over time. But that's what that is anyways, my Harry Potter necklace. So I'm thinking that maybe like when fall and winter comes back around, if I wear a shirt that comes up higher or something where I have something in between me and the necklace, maybe then I can go back to wearing it again. I don't know. Okay, so face primer is on. And um, next I'm going to use a foundation that I picked up recently. This is the LA Colors Cream to Powder Makeup. And I am in the shade natural, and it looks like it looks like that wouldn't be the quite the right shade for me. But once it's blended in, it's actually a pretty nice match, believe it or not. And um, I've been using this to apply it. I got this at Ulta a few years ago, and it has no information on the handle at all. I did do a review on it at that time but I don't know this is just a nice brush for this type of foundation I've never really been a big fan of cream to powder foundations but this one I like and lately I've been setting my foundations that I've been using with powder so this is like an all-in-one step so I like that and I know what some of you might be thinking that oh maybe this is what's making you break out I don't think so because um, the breakout came before I started using this so I don't think that's what it is now the reason why I'm going through this foundation step with you even though the video is really about the concealer is because when I do my foundation it s does sort of get a little bit in that area um, I do put some there and then I put the concealer on top so I just wanted you to see what it looked like now versus after foundation and then after concealer and then I'm even going to set it with a powder. So I wanted you to see, you know, how it progresses with the different products on it so you can see the difference. Did I even tell you yet what the concealer is? No, I don't think I did because I got wrapped up talking about other things. What I should say is before I tell you what the concealer is, my favorite concealer up until now was the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. Of all the concealers I have tried, that I think was the best one. So it comes as no surprise to me that the concealer that I have now found that I think is even better than that one is the LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer. And I found this at Family Dollar because you know I've been shopping there like crazy lately. I couldn't find any reference to this online on their website or anywhere. Nobody's done a review on it. Um, it's it's not like on Amazon. It's it's very strange. So I wrote the um, I wrote to LA Colors. I sent them an email, and I asked them, you know, is this brand new and you haven't added it to your website, or is this an older product that's going to be discontinued? And I said, you know, I I need to know because I want to talk about it on YouTube and do a video about it. So they sent me back an email and they asked me for the item number, the the lot and batch code, and they basically wanted a bunch of the information on the product number-wise. So I sent that back to them, 
Haven't heard from him since. So I don't know. See how nice that foundation covers these red spots. So if you have something you're trying to cover up, I would say this is a full, full coverage foundation. So since I, I don't have any red blotches on this side, but I want it to be even, so doing the whole thing. So we had gone to an event at an Autobahn, um, which is like a nature preserve. I think most people know what the Autobahn is. And there was some poison ivy around there, and my husband thought, well, you know, maybe you picked up some poison ivy or something, which is entirely possible. But I don't think that's what it is, because when I finish with the foundation, I use the same brush to blend in my concealer. And if that was the case, I would be transferring all this to the rest of my face. So I don't think it's poison ivy because poison ivy spreads like crazy and I probably would have spread it all over my body by this point if this was poison ivy. Um, it it kind of looks like it could be, but I don't think it is. So it covered it fairly well, but you can still see it. I might add some powder on top of that um, later. Okay, so next is going to be the concealer. So. Take a good look at those circles and you can see that, you know, they're not as bad as they used to be before I started using this. So this is definitely an improvement. Uh, so that's definitely worth a buck from Dollar Tree. This was, oh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. I want to say $3, I think. I think it was $3, but don't quote me on that. But it, if it's not $3, it's, you know in that range. I'm pretty sure it was three though. So this is a you know squeezy tube so I'm just trying to push some up and then it's got the same type of applicator that the LA Girl one has. It's like a brush. So what I do is I put some in that area and this is a thick concealer and then I just take that same brush that I was using for my foundation and blend it in and you know you can still see the indentation in my face a little bit but for the most part it does look a lot better oh and this is in the shade um, light they don't have a lot of shades to pick from but light light is light enough for me and it does work for me when I first saw it I thought oh this is gonna be too dark you know too dark and too yellow, but once it's blended in, it's it's fine. I tend to buy my products lighter than what I should, and with the LA colors, a lot of them are darker, like the lightest shade is still pretty dark, and it's been like helping me get more of the shade that I should have been buying right along. Because yeah, I have a tendency to go too light when I pick out my colors, and then I look ghostly and these types of shades make me not look so crazy super pale so yeah you can still see it but I mean you guys know me and how my dark circles are and stuff and you have to admit that's way better okay so now I'm gonna set it with a powder I found this at Dollar Tree this is the LA colors pressed powder in the shade ivory and it's got like a, a lift off cover. So this is not the, the powder that you always see there that's in like the compact that opens up that has the plastic see-through lid on it. This is something different that I discovered one day and I really like this. I'm going to use, I've had this brush for like 10 years, 
This is not even a makeup brush. This is a, a paint brush by Low Cornell. It's 270 Maxine's Mop. I don't even know if they still sell this. I bought this 10 years ago and it's basically like, it's like a flat foundation brush. And uh, I bought this at Michael's 10 years ago, but I saw it the other day and I thought, you know what, this would be perfect for pressing powder on top of the concealer. So I'm just gonna take some of this powder and then I just press it right on that area like that doesn't look that much different but where I put so much of that concealer on there and it's so thick I figured that you know, it'd be good to set it. So this side, when I'm all done, looks pretty, pretty damn good, I think. But this side, you can still see the dark circle, but it looks so much better than it did before. Um, let me finish my makeup off camera and just come back and give you my final thoughts on this. Okay, so yes, I think this is the best concealer I've ever used, even better than the LA Girl and well worth picking up. The only place I've ever seen it is Family Dollar, but it's LA Colors Conceal It, Cover, and Correct Concealer. However, I think that the Skin Nutrition's Age Defy Dark Circles and Puffiness Serum in conjunction with this is giving me the least noticeable dark circles that I've ever had. So the two of these together are even better. This is only at Dollar Tree as far as I know. So yeah, these two products are great. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.